uh, we're live. We're live. <laughs> it's so quick now. It's amazing. It's so fast. It's like you just press the button and you're like, before it would take yeah. a little while. Whereas now you just press the button and it's like, wow, we're live. How does it get yeah. any better? Uh, it's so quick now. Oh, yeah. hello. That's me. Hello. That's you. And I just uh, <laughs> have to go into Facebook because now you have to change the settings so that everyone in the world can hear it. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Yeah. In case you in case you don't know, this is um, Liz, and not only are we colleagues in work, we also um, are friends in consciousness, and we have, I guess, um, we have a common target in the world, which is we'd like the world for ourselves to be a greater place to live, yeah. and one of the things that we both have the hot topic in access gary douglas and dane here and um, if you're coming across this page my myself and liz are going to talk about the tools from access consciousness and how they've transformed and shifted and changed our lives i hated myself and now i actually i think i'm really cool person <laughs> you are a really cool person <laughs> <laughs> i can actually even receive my that my opinion just my opinion, yeah. my opinion. <laughs> Um, and Liz is one of the people that I create with and I would say a, a trusted friend and today we're going to have a conversation the hot topic in access at the moment is out of control yeah. and today we're going to have a conversation about out of control and I have a challenge coming up in regard to it you can have a listen to this video and I would say get information and see what you can apply to your life and so, yeah, where will we start with this whole out of control thing? Oh, mama, like, because <laughs> I've been running these clearings for a little while for like, um, I don't know how many days. And it's, I mean, there's so much more than you think. It's, there's so much more to it than you think. Like, like we've been sharing these memes about being a control freak and like trying to control the people around you and control this and control that. But you start to realize like how much you're limiting yourself with the control that you're doing. So can you talk a little bit about that? Like how control can limit? Yeah, so you said you're limiting yourself by control, but really what you're really trying to do is you're trying to control you and another person. So you fit into a society that's based on a certain way that you're supposed to be. And this is where um, really where we, we take the access tool of allowance is allowance is beyond control it's total choice total engagement in every moment and <laughs> so and even this place of control what you've got to get is all control is based on right and wrong the purpose of control is right and wrong the right and wrong is the purpose of control so it's all about getting it right like one of the things that I had is I would control my looks and my body and my point of view is that if I looked a certain way that I was lovable, I mean, all control holds a lie in place. You like, we can't be controlled. All control holds a lie in place. Yeah. That's really what it's about. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> now I'm like, wow, what am I, what am I lying to myself? Like, what, what am I holding in place there with all this control that I'm doing? That's a really like, that's just kind of. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you what you're holding in place. Total unleashed, unbridled joy, ease, and freedom. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, anytime that I'm looking to control something, I'm doing it from a definition or an identity. Whereas what the first key to freedom and access is, would an infinite being truly choose this? Hmm. And this question is, if I'm an infinite being, if, and I say if, because it's something that you walk towards over time you have a choice in choosing how you would like your life to be how you would like to live what is it that's going to work for you like you know one of the greatest lies that we've been given and where control stems from is that we're not powerful yeah. that we haven't got the ability and the capacity for me the true gift of change is the ability to change anything in your living and control is about not changing and holding in place a predetermined reality yeah. so that you can. And, you know, the other thing as well is I have a lot of kindness to myself around control because I grew up in a like as a very young child, a crazy environment. 
And I thought if I could control everyone that that wouldn't occur anymore. So, but that's again in itself off a lie. Because yeah. then as an adult, I had to look at, hey, you don't require to protect yourself anymore. You can just care for yourself and be present and be aware of energies and know where to go and where not to go. Yeah. That's for information. Yeah. And I get like the other big thing that I've started to come to, <laughs> to, to get like doing this out of control stuff is, or the out of control clearings is how much I'm being controlled or allowing myself to be controlled by other people's judgments and other people's points of views. And you don't like, you don't think like, we all think like, no, I'm not being controlled. I'm just doing me. But then you start to really get aware of like, wow. Yeah. Like I'm really, um, yeah. Just being controlled by other people's points of views. And, and, you know, the real, the real piece underneath all of this is that, is that you cannot be controlled when you're aware of what is actually holding the control in place mm. and for me like i i you can actually control me and a lot of the times we're not willing to see the viewpoints and the opinions we're given about how we should live you know what i mean and they control us from this place of a subtlety you know this subtle little this is how you should be this is how you should look this is like one of the um one of the greatest areas of control is being a mother yeah like about how wrong it is, how right it is. And there's no choice to actually be you. And these out of control clearings are what energy, space, consciousness, and choice. It's about energy, it's about space, it's about consciousness. And consciousness is about choosing what works to be out of control. To Because for me, I'm in Brazil in a body class at the moment, three day body class in Sao Paulo. And everyone told me not to come down here, you know? The point of view that was impelled and pushed on me was don't come down here mm -hmm. and yet there's people down here that came to a body class a three-day body class and to have a different point of view like an Irish girl will have a different point of view to if you're born in Brazil and we don't have the same controlling energies so we can contribute to each other in a different way yeah and and that's one of the things that that actually gets us out of control is when we start traveling which is the very thing that's taken away right now you know, so when we travel and we gather information and we realize that we have cultural points of views about what's right, what's wrong, we have familiar points of views about what's right and what's wrong. And this really is about coming out of right and wrong and coming into presence, total presence and total choice about who I would like to be in the world. I know what I would like to have a more caring world, not one that judges and dismisses. And one of the things that I was really, um, the effect of is other people's judgments mm. and to be free like right now I don't give a shit what any, I I cared for too long about what people thought about me I'm done with that you know yeah. hate me like me it's not relevant it's not relevant anymore to what I would like to create and and um, and what I'm capable of yeah. and I think I get that you reach a point where other people's opinions aren't relevant to you anymore does it get better than that? <laughs> exactly, exactly. There's a beautiful piece written in a book called The Ten Keys to Freedom. And if you're looking at, hey, I'm still not sure about what out of control is. So we've control, which is right and wrong. This is the way it's supposed to be. This is the right thing to do. And then we've, let's say, uncontrollable, which is the effect of control. Because for me as a teenager, I rebelled because there was so much control. Um, there was so much getting it right while so much wrongness and then uncontrollable as you react to the control so I ran away from home I did all the crazy stuff which is a destruction of myself yeah. it's not a creation of my living and then out of control is none of that I'm not going to react and resist I'm not going to align and agree out of control from COVID out of control hey there's this virus going on okay I'm not going to align and agree. I'm not going to resist and react. I'm going to be aware and I'm going to choose from total awareness what choices are going to work for me here. Yeah. And that's when all of that becomes truly irrelevant. No? Yeah. It becomes truly irrelevant. And the other thing is death doesn't become a significance because one of the things that you cannot truly live as long as you're looking at dying and a lot of the people defend the rightness of their point of view and all control is from a lot of control stems from that dead is wrong 
but death isn't wrong it's just part of it's the other kind it's the other side of birth and so many times it's there's so much judgment in regard to this <laughs> amazing i cannot wait for these 30 days <laughs> we'll have 30 days of the out of control clearings mm -hmm. um, and i'm not going to run them on this live because they require a little bit of explanation and um, it's where you go beyond right and wrong beyond the definitions of everything in your life if you've defined it that's the only way it can show up nothing mm -hmm. else and um out of linearity a plus b plus c living from your mind you know and out of the way things are supposed to be and when you learn to interact with the energy well you don't learn it it's when you unlearn the control actually yeah the knowing is always there yeah. that's where yeah. you can truly engage with the entirety of the universe and things can show up beyond your wildest dreams can I can I tell you a magical story before we finish? Do you like magic? I love magic. <laughs> okay, I have to tell you this. So before I left Maastricht, um, I can get carried away at work and forget about like the things that I require for traveling sometimes. And I went into Maastricht and I got my nails done and I crossed the street and I picked out this beautiful black dress v-neck and I always wear things calf length between my ankle and my knee because it really suits my shape saw this beautiful black v dress v at the back v at the front i exactly knew what i wanted and it was ripped and i had it on loved it. it was like yes i got the dress that i was looking for get to the counter and my car doesn't work in the machine and i'm like the bank is like a 10 minute walk i'm like i haven't got i really right now it's not a priority to go get this because i've got to go home and get moving because i'm flying to brazil in the morning and i stay in the north Anyway, I was like, I'm standing at the counter and I'm like, I'll have that dress. I said to the girl, I'll have that dress. But I didn't say I'll be back for the dress. I said, I'll have that dress. Go off to Sao Paulo, arrive in. And today we're on day three of class. So I walk into class and this lady comes up with a pink bag. <laughs> you know where this is going, right? Off I come, my pink bag. She comes up with a pink bag. She's like, oh, I own a boutique and um, I chose something for you to wear as a thank you because my whole life is after transforming because the body processes we do allow people to get free from points of views that are not fun for them. So anyway, um, I open, I take off the little tissue, the black dress, exactly the same shape. I'm like 12,000 kilometers away from where I tried on the dress. And I said to the lady, her name is Maria. I was like, how did you pick the dress? She was like, it's so funny. It's winter in Brazil. I was going to buy you a winter suit. And every time I went to pick up the winter suit, I could just see you walking in this black dress. <laughs> That is out of control. <laughs> it yeah. never shows up the way you think it will. So we invite you to let go of your, and by the way, control isn't wrong. We're just looking at what actually works, what's yeah. fun, what's easy for you. So we invite you to 30 days of out of control with two pop-up 45 minute calls. So we can explain and give you some support and some contribution. And how does it get, and we'll be there. We'll be there. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Um, happy Sunday evening in Europe and a uh, happy lunchtime in South America and North America, a little bit behind us. How does it get any better than that? Well, thanks for being in my life. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye.